Well, it's year-end 2021, and here we are with a special year-end edition of Triple S, Sectors, Strategies, and Stocks. Welcome to Price Target Research. I'm John Lafferty. We start with market sectors. Price Target Research monitors the performance of a wide number of market sectors, including important market indexes, broad economic sectors, and dozens of industries. As we review recent market action and prospects, as usual, let's start with a number of broad market indexes. The Dow Jones Industrials, S&P 500, Russell Style Indexes, and the PTR Universe, a list of roughly 5,000 companies traded on North American exchanges. We look at recent performance for the year 2021 and performance since the pandemic low in March 2020. The S&P 500 closed 2021 at 47.66. This is well above its 200-day moving average and above its 50-day moving average. The 200-day moving average is in an uptrend, and overall the S&P is up 113% from its pandemic low. For 2021, the leading market indices are the S&P 500 and Russell Thought 1000 growth. Laggard market indexes are the Russell 2000 and the Dow Jones Industrials. From the pandemic low in March 2020, the PTR universe was the leading broad index. This outperformance by our universe is significant because it is composed of hundreds of small companies and small companies have lagged larger ones for a number of years. As you can see from the chart, the PTR universe has underperformed the S&P 500 for over a decade, and while the recent relative improvements is small relative to the prior decline, it is a move in the right direction. The performance of smaller companies is a useful measure of the health of the economy. Note also the performance of the largest companies in our database relative to the smallest. Again, a hint of a reversal of long-term trends. Performance of eight broad market sectors in 2021 is led by cyclical and energy. A performance laggard has been healthcare. For 2021, leading industry groups are mining and agriculture, instrumentation, extractive energy, and major chemical. For the year to date, lagging industry groups are biotech, air transportation, automotive, and software and services. We turn now to strategies. We constantly monitor the performance of key investment strategies. Watch lists are groups of attractive companies keyed to important investment objectives. Strategy pairs are company groups that share key investment characteristics, both positive and negative. Price Target Research maintains five watch lists consisting of companies fitting specific investment objectives. Stock selections are made once at the beginning of each year and performance measured throughout the year. These portfolios have a 20-year track record. They are core, income, large cap, value, and small cap. In 2021, leading watch lists were the Price Target Research Small Cap Watch List and the PTR Income Watch List. A laggard was the PTR Value Watch List. Price Target Research tracks the performance of 24 groups of companies selected according to key investment variables. These variables are grouped according to valuation, growth, profitability, and risk factors. Companies ranked highest and lowest for each variable are grouped in strategy pairs. The performance of the highest group versus lowest group is measured in cases with the highest divergence between the high and low are identified. These instances are the most successful strategies at a point in time. In 2021, the largest positive divergences between high and low were for debt to capital, beta coefficient, earnings per share variability, and forecast return on investment. For the year to date, the largest negative divergence between high and low is for the Q ratio. The lesson here is that during the year, the best strategies involve companies with high debt to capital, high beta coefficient, high earnings variability, and high forecast profitability. Additionally, a strategy involving low Q ratio or price to book multiple did well. From the pandemic low in March of 2020, high beta coefficient, high growth, high earnings variability, and high 20 quarter earnings per share growth 
performed well. Also performing well were low financial strength and low market value. In summary, winning strategies for 2021 included mining and agriculture, instrumentation, extractive energy, and major chemical. The PTR small cap watch list and PTR income watch list were also successful, as were high debt to capital, high beta coefficient, high earnings variability, and high forecast ROI. Additionally, a strategy involving low Q ratio or low valuation did very well. Value trend ratings reflect the relative attraction of a stock combining valuation potential and market dynamics. The highest rating is 100, the lowest is zero. Measuring the average value trend rating for industries, watch lists, and strategy pairs provides an indication of future potential. On this basis, energy stands out. Extractive energy, banks, SNLs, petroleum, and financial services all have high average value trend ratings. The PTR income watch lists and small cap watch list, core watch list, and the large cap watch list are all highly rated. Low Q ratio has a high value trend rating in the strategy pair area. Let's turn to some interesting stocks. PTR's Morning Market Monitor provides ongoing intelligence for 5,000 North American traded companies focusing on companies with dynamic fundamentals and high value trend ratings. Here are some current high-rated stocks. Diamondback Energy is an independent oil and gas producer operating in Texas. As you can see, it's been A-rated since early 2021. S&P Global Services provides ratings, benchmarks, and data to capital markets. It's been A-rated since last summer. Sealed Air provides product protection systems, primarily uh, packaging to the food industry. It's been A-rated since last summer. That's it for this edition of Triple S, Sectors, Strategies, and Stocks. You can find Price Target Research on the web at pricetargetresearch.com and videos at youtube.com forward slash pricetargetresearch.